Welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover the concept of the electric equipotential. However, before we begin, we're going to cover a subject we've covered last semester, that of gravity. This is a contour map. Uh, it's a topographical map, and it shows uh, some unique things. Uh, mainly, it shows that if you have a feature that is like some hill, you can see that the hill will get higher in altitude and then get lower in altitude. However, if we look at one specific altitude, say 10 meters above whatever we call ground, you can see that if we were to draw a line at 10 meters above ground, we would trace out this little pattern here. And this is what we would call an equipotential line. If we stay on the equipotential line, we're not going up nor down the slope. However, if we were to cross the lines, go on this, this would be the same thing as going up or down the, uh, the hill. So now that we've covered that, let's move on to a very similar subject, and that's going to be the electric equipotential. This looks very similar. This looks like a topographical map. However, you'll notice that over here, these guys are no longer hills. They're electric charges. This is a simulation that uh, that was able to generate these. However, you'll see that you still have these lines of equipotential, meaning that if you're on the line and you stay on the line, your electric potential energy is not changing. If you cross the line, similar to going up or down the hill, uh, your electric potential energy is going to decrease or increase, depending if you're going down or up the hill. So in the following videos, we're going to show you how to set up an experiment and then how to actually create these electric equipotentials, uh, which will allow you to take your measurements and complete the lab. Good luck.